Hi everyone, this is Jesse. Nice to meet you and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna talk about the just general thing that um, how I came to Perth and uh, what part of my life has changed my personality, what was turning point, all those kind of stuff about me. So, um, since I was kind of very nervous, very, um, uh, very quiet, not really quiet, but not so brave enough, you know, like, very, uh, what do you call it, um, submissive, or, I kind of forgot the word, you know, very easy to get influenced by other people, other my, uh, my peers, so I was like, you know, I didn't have my own, you know, thing, so that's, just, just follow people, follow my friends, whatever they do, I'll just do it together because I thought that's what friendship friendship is. And um, by um, 20 around, I just did what I was told and I just, I don't remember things that I did on my own, basically. And yeah. And then I went to college, um, it's called, it's not a university, in Korea there are a couple of like, there are different, two different, main two different uh, types of so-called university. One is like, the one you know, like just university that four or five years of studying, you know, and then uh, the other one is only two years. And we call it like um, 전문대. It means like two years, very very tight curriculum. Mm, but you finish in two years. But that doesn't mean it's same level of university. It's still like people um, have you know people think that's lower kind of you know it does. You know, The major I did was tourism, social welfare. So it's kind of mixed up, you know. Like, so I realized from the from the beginning of the um, the course that this is messed up, you know. This is not. I don't know. But still, I was like very naive, and I was like, yeah. Just uh, let's just drink, you know. I drink a lot, like with, with other people. I was somehow keep studying Japanese, and well, after one year, I had a chance to go to do um get an exchange student to Japan. So I went to Japan for three and a half months. That was the uh, most happiest time in my life like then in the first very first happy like, memory you know i spent like three and a half months just did nothing much you know different from korea i just you know study a little bit and then most mostly drinking you know like hang out karaoke all this kind of stuff uh, and then I don't know, somehow kind of triggered me inside that I want to travel. So, well, that was very first overseas experience. And then, um, I don't know, because like everything was organized, so I didn't have to bring any document. Um, I just had a passport, that was it. And then I came back after three and a half months. And then in Korea, people go to army. So it's, uh, it's not voluntary, it's compulsory. So people have to, um, people, my friend, they start to go to army. 
and uh, I was like, uh, yeah, I want to see a little bit more. So I didn't go straight away, and and then I didn't necessarily went back to college, and I spent like what six, five, six months doing some part-time job, and then what happened was I um I had a girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> I was kind of busy. Yeah, very first, oh, second, third. Uh, anyway, yeah, I had a girlfriend. And then, um, yeah, just you know, dating, yeah. uh, all those kind of things. And then, um, just just before I um, joined the army, I decided to travel by myself. Uh, so I um, planned trip for Okinawa, in Japan, for around a week. So it was like Okinawa for four days, and go to the place that I did exchange student so that I can meet those um, my friends yeah then I come back and there was very first experience and I loved it I loved it you know like just walk on the street just go to um, shops that I didn't have much money so I didn't buy uh, like souvenirs or all those kind of things. I just basically um, spent just on eating um, accommodation and like those public transport. I didn't, yeah, I didn't bring much money. Yeah, um, and then I go back to Korea. That was my very first experience in Japan. Nothing special, but for me it was the most happiest memory of all time when I doing when I was doing exchange student, and then the first very first overseas trip all by myself. That was the another one. Yeah, that's the end of the trip today. Thank you.